The following video demonstrates how OCT might be used to evaluate a glaucoma suspect. A 47-year-old female patient attends your practice. She is of Caucasian origin. Stellar vision and acuity is 66 in both eyes with a low hyperopic refractive error. There is a family history of maternal glaucoma. Central corneal thickness is 550 microns in the right eye, 56 microns in the left eye. Intraocular pressure measured with Goldman applanation tonometry is 24 millimeters of mercury in the right eye and 26 millimeters of mercury in the left eye. Angles are open on Van Herrick sign, color vision is normal, and visual fields are full, but the patient is an unreliable witness. Optic nerve assessment of the right eye. The disc is small, approximately 1.76 millimeters in area. The cup to disc ratio is approximately 0.4 and the disc conforms to the isn't rule. The reflectivity of the retinal nerve fibre layer is normal. Assessment of the retinal nerve fibre layer. The OCT scan is of good quality and is centred on the optic disc. The fovea to disc alignment is correct and the retinal nerve fibre layer has been accurately segmented The comparison of the scan to the normative data is within normal limits and the retinal nerve fibre layer profile has a double hump configuration. Posterior pole assessment. The OCT scan is of good quality and the image has been accurately segmented. The posterior pole asymmetry assessment is normal with just one abnormal pixel element in the superior hemisphere. Optic nerve assessment of the left eye. The disc is small in size, approximately 1.9 millimeters in area. The cup to disc ratio is approximately 0.5 and the disc conforms to the isn't rule, although there may be a superior notch present. The striated pattern of the retinal nerve fibre layer is absent in the temporal superior quadrant. the reflectivity in the infratemporal quadrant appears normal. Retinal nerve fibre layer assessment. The OCD scan quality is good with a clearly stratified structure and the scan is centered on the optic disc. The fovea to disc alignment is correct and the retinal nerve fibre layer has been accurately segmented on the OCT scan. Comparison to the normative database is within normal limits, although the temporal superior quadrant does show some slight thinning. There is a visible notch in the temporal superior quadrant on the retinal nerve fibre layer profile with a retinal thickness of 29 microns. Posterior pole assessment. The OCT scan quality is good and the image has been accurately segmented. The posterior pole asymmetry assessment shows thinning in the superior hemisphere 
which might be consistent with thinning of the retinal nerve fibre layer. This is highlighted on the segmented heat map of the retinal nerve fibre layer, where again the thinning is more clearly visible. The retinal nerve fibre layer OU asymmetry report shows a wedge defect in the left eye, which is confirmed on the RNFL profile. and the asymmetry structural assessment is within normal limits. The posterior pole asymmetry report shows marked OSOD asymmetry. Based upon the case history and the OCT assessment of this patient, would you discharge the patient from your care, review in practice or refer to hospitalised services?